Representative Ryan, a lot of Governor Haley's response talks about jobs, and jobs are top of mind for Americans. The most recent CBS News poll showed that 48% of Americans think the most important thing is jobs in the economy, but just 10% think it's the deficit. That's what we mostly hear from Republicans. We hear more about the deficit than we hear about jobs. Well, I wouldn't suggest that. They're interrelated. Uh, these are the same issues. So they're not exclusive of one another. Jobs comes from economic growth. Economic growth gives us more revenues, which helps us get down the deficit. The ex huge deficit we have is nothing more than tomorrow's interest rate increases or tax rate increases. So when government runs huge deficits like it is today, what that tells businesses who are sitting on capital and not hiring, look out, my taxes are going to go up tomorrow or we're going to have an inflation interest rate problem tomorrow. And so it is these massive deficit deficits that are showing businesses that there's an uncertain future, an uncertain future with which they don't want to invest in. And that is why a lot of businesses are sitting on capital. I did a roundtable in Kenosha with business leaders last Thursday. I did one two hours ago with business leaders. All of them are telling me the same thing. We don't know what's coming from government next. So many new regulations coming down the pike. They also All these don't know new what's taxes. coming from the consumer, so though. It there's is no hurting consumer job demand creation. for a lot of their products. Say that again? They don't know what's coming from the consumer. The demand that's coming from American consumers is very weak at this point, which is why they're not creating the jobs to sell the product or to manufacture it. Consumption comes when people feel secure in their own lives, when people have jobs that they, are, they, they feel secure in, when they're not worried about losing their job. You need to have a good economy that is producing jobs and giving security, economic security to Americans who then will go forward and act like consumers. And so what we have right now is a government that is giving so much uncertainty. Tax rates on successful small businesses under the president's plan, which is in law, is going as high as 44.8% on successful small businesses. Most of our jobs don't come from the big corporations, they come from these successful small businesses. And when we're gonna be raising their taxes as much as President Obama is proposing, mm -hmm. that puts a chilling effect on job creation. When we raise and borrow all this money, 42 cents out of every dollar coming out of Washington, it's borrowed. 47% is coming from other countries like China. This is not a future in which people, businesses or consumers feel confident in the American economy. We've got to deal with these issues so we can feel confident and get this job creation back on. There's, a, there's obviously a vicious cycle here, and it doesn't help right. that the U.S. economy is absolutely a consumer-driven economy. You talk about the importance of confidence. You talk a lot about small businesses. But going back to large businesses who are sitting on this cash right. isn't one of the major issues also that they have learned how to do more with less, and it is not in their interest to hire people. Is there any way you can change that? Well, first of all, predictability. I think large businesses, first of all, we're in the international economy whether we like it or not. And we have to recognize, if we tax our employers, our producers, a lot more than our foreign competitors tax theirs, they win, we lose. Right now, we have the highest corporate tax rate, now that Japan is lowering theirs, than any other industrialized country. Right now, we are taxing our businesses, our manufacturers in America, a lot more than our foreign competitors tax theirs. And what is the government telling them? You're going to pay higher taxes. What is the government doing? Running up record deficits. That means even higher taxes. So even though the president's proposing over $2 trillion in new tax increases on these businesses, we still aren't solving our fiscal problem, and it's putting a chilling effect on hiring. So you're not going to get good consumption in this country if you don't have good investment, if you don't have confidence, if you don't have businesses out there not only keeping people on the payroll but adding to their payrolls. And so we're in a vicious cycle, and we want to get on a virtuous cycle.